what if I told you that the way someone walks can be a diagnostic goldmine? Let's dive into eight pathological gaits and their causes. First up, hemiplegic or circumductory gait. A stiff leg swings out in a semicircle. Think stroke with unilateral weakness. Next, Parkinsonian or festinating gait. Shuffling steps, stooped posture, and reduced arm swing. Classic Parkinson's disease. Third, ataxic or cerebellar gait. A wide-based, staggering walk, like someone who's intoxicated, caused by cerebellar ataxia. Fourth, spastic diplegic or scissor gait. Legs cross over with each step, often seen in cerebral palsy. Fifth, steppage, equine, or foot drop gait. Exaggerated leg lift to avoid dragging the foot, common in peripheral neuropathy. Sixth, Trendelenburg or waddling gait. Pelvis drops on the opposite side, linked to hip abductor weakness. Seventh, antalgic or painful gait. A shortened stance to minimize pain, often due to injury or arthritis. And finally, myopathic or waddling gait. Waddling with lumbar lordosis, think muscular dystrophies. These gait patterns offer clues to underlying conditions. Keep them in mind.